Here we will arrange the origination sites, ganglia, and effector tissues of the motor portion of the parasympathetic nervous system. First, draw one side of the brainstem as the cranial component and one side of the sacral spinal cord as the sacral component. In the midbrain, indicate the nucleus of cranial nerve 3, the Edinger-Westfall nucleus. In the pons, draw the nucleus of cranial nerve 7, the superior salivatory nucleus, and in the medulla, label the nuclei of cranial nerves 9 and 10 as the inferior salivatory nucleus and the dorsal motor nucleus of the vagus, respectively. Note that nucleus ambiguous also contributes minor visceral motor fibers to cranial nerve 10 with specific effects on the heart, but we exclude it here for simplicity's sake. Now indicate that the sacral nuclei are the intermediolateral cell column nuclei from sacral levels 2 through 4. These nuclei reside in lamina 7 in the intermediate gray matter horn of the spinal cord. Next, let's indicate the parasympathetic ganglia sites, which process and relay information from the pre to the postganglionic tissues. Indicate cranial nerve 3 relays in the ciliary ganglion. Cranial nerve 7 relays in both the pterygopalatine and subnandibular ganglia. Cranial nerve 9 relays in the otic ganglia. And cranial nerve 10 relays in the walls of its target organs in the thoracoabdominal cavity. The visceromotor cell axons from sacral levels 2 through 4 pass through the sacral plexus and then travel as the pelvic splanchnic nerves before they relay in the ganglia of their target organs in the abdomen and pelvis. The ganglia lie far from the origination nuclei and near to their target organs. Let's address the target organs now and discuss their functional effects. First, indicate the postganglionic parasympathetic fibers from the ciliary ganglion terminate in the ciliary body, which produces lens thickening and in the pupillary constrictors, which produce pupillary constriction. Next, show the postganglionic parasympathetic fibers from the pterygopalatine ganglion terminate in the nasal and lacrimal glands. The fibers from the submandibular ganglion terminate in the submandibular and sublingual glands, and the fibers from the otic ganglion terminate in the parotid gland. All three postganglionic parasympathetic fiber groups cause glandular secretion. Now indicate the thoracoabdominal target organs for cranial nerve 10, the vagus nerve. Simply put, these target organs constitute the whole of the thoracoabdominal viscera minus the abdominal hindgut derivatives. In short, cranial nerve 10 produces heart rate depression, bronchial constriction, increased blood flow to the gut, and increased gut peristalsis and secretion. Now indicate the sacral parasympathetic system innervates the pelvic viscera plus the abdominal hindgut derivatives. Sacral parasympathetic activation increases blood flow to the gut, increases gut peristalsis and secretion, provides urinary bladder detrusor muscle tone, and genital engorgement. This completes our drawing of the motor component of the craniosacral parasympathetic nervous system.